The troubles for the Baskin family started in October of 1986 when Bobby, who was almost five years old at the time, supposedly told his grandmother about sexual abuse at the hands of his paternal grandfather, Bobby, then later told this same story to his mother, Debbie. Debbie and her husband, Mark, then asked Debbie's parents what they should do. Marvin and Sandra Maple were uh, Mark's parents. The Maples encouraged them to press charges, and that's what they did. The grandfather denied the abuse, and Bobby was unable to tell his story because he was crying uncontrollably on the witness stand. As a result, the charges were dismissed in January of 1987. During this entire ordeal, Debbie and Mark decided to move the family to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, or from there to Louisville, Kentucky. However, Mark and Debbie were worried it might be too stressful for Bobby, so the Maples offered to look after Bobby and his six-year-old sister, Christy. In June 1987, the Baskins made a difficult decision to move and leave Bobby and Christy with the Maples. For a few months, things went well when Debbie asked for the children back twice. The Maples convinced her to postpone the move, but by spring of 1989, The Baskins were demanding the return of their children. That's when the Maples got temporary custody of the children. The Maples also told police that the Baskins were involved in satanic cults. Investigators looked into these claims and they found that these charges were absolutely baseless. They ordered the Maples to hand over Christy and Bobby in March of 1989, almost two years after offering to keep them for a short time. But instead of handing over the children, the Maples sold their house and fled. The police and the FBI launched into a search, but the Maples could not be found. Over the years, their disappearance was featured on both Unsolved Mysteries and America's Most Wanted. There were a few sightings, but there were no actual confirmations. And after fleeing Tennessee, the Maples moved to San Jose, California with new names. Christy and Bobby were now Jennifer and Jonathan Bunting. 20 years after the disappearance, a Kentucky newspaper ran a story about the kidnapping, which uh, Marvin Maple read online. He was unhappy of how he was depicted in this story and expressed his displeasure at the bar he was socializing in. At least one of the people listening to Marvin went to the authorities. And Marvin, who is now going by that name John Bunting, was arrested for kidnapping on February 2nd, 2009. Sandra Maple had already passed away in 2005, so when Marvin was arrested, Christy was in shock and couldn't understand that the man she called Daddy could be facing kidnapping charges. Bobby and Christy were also hesitant to meet their parents and didn't immediately contact them after the arrest. The parents believe that the children may have been brainwashed after so many years. Marvin pled guilty to custodial interference and was given four months of probation. 